And now, I welcome you to a War Horse Studio production. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Man, they really saved your ass. Interesting. I think this is another dream. No! 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 Get me! This dude's not uh not giving up. All right. Where are we? Are we in the village? Anyway, I don't know what that was. I guess it was a nightmare. You need some help? Oh, this asshole. He's on the list too. Just like Arya, my man Henry gotta have a list. Wake up, Henry. It's 
Pastorized. Henry, can you hear me? Get up, Henry. Wake up. It's a new day. Henry, can you hear me? Hallelujah. I thought you'd never wake. Were you having a nightmare? Uh, Teresa? I feel like she knew the answer to that question before she asked it. Uncle won't be pleased, but you'll have to stay in bed. Where am I? In Scallets? We're at my uncle's mill in Rattay. I didn't know where else to go. What happened? You don't remember anything? I suppose that's not surprising. I found you in Scallets after those bandits attacked you. I thought they'd done for you. But you were still breathing. Why in heaven's name did you go back there? It was madness. They slaughtered everyone who didn't run. My parents, I... I wanted to bury them. I had to... Don't worry. I took care of it. Thank you. Nice. Any good Christian would have done the same. Now sleep. You need your strength back. Well, good. That means that your parents got buried, so you can chill the fuck out now. Or attempt to chill the fuck out. Who knows? You're awake. Good morning. Good morning. It's near midnight. You've slept all day. Have I now? <laughs> oh, I feel like a horse fell on me. The beating you took was worse. But at least the fever's broken. What in the world were you doing in Scalitz? Waiting to die. What? They killed my brothers, my family, my friends. They're all dead? All of them. Everyone I ever loved. They killed one of my brothers in the mines. After that, what did I have to live for? Don't say that. There's always hope. No, there isn't. But it doesn't matter. I'm a different person now. How did you manage to save me? You were lucky. I was in Scalitz and I saw Zbyshek and his thugs. I tried to distract them, but it would have been no use if those soldiers from Tamburg hadn't arrived. They were searching for you and scattered the bandits. Searching for me? Yes. Lord Divish sent them, led by Captain Robard. So tell me, why is a lord of such high standing interested in a blacksmith? So Divish promised Sir Radic he'd look after me. But as for why they should care, I've no idea. Oh, I'm exhausted. I'm not surprised. I'll bring you water and something to eat. In the meantime, rest. You're still very weak. Good morning to you. How's the invalid today? Ugh, I haven't felt as good as this since the Yo, last Shorty just called me an invalid. Me on the town square. Got your sense of humor back. You must be better. My uncle will be glad to hear it. You did take I an arrow, him to let a me beating, if you'd around watched your parents longer, die, have dumped you on the town square, killed your you first few dudes. You can find somewhere else to live. But my uncle will want payment for taking you in and caring for you. And this is your uncle's house? We're in Rattay Mill. My uncle's Miller Peshek. He took me mm. in and I talked him into taking care of you too. I've been lying here long enough. Uncle will be pleased he's one mouth less to feed. But are you truly well enough? Well enough to do what has to be done. Where can I find Sir Radzig? He's in the lower castle in Perkstein. He's a guest of Sir Hanish of Lipa. Mm. But someone like you can't just walk up bold as you please and demand an audience. I know, Sir Adzik. And I didn't bring him his sword as I was supposed to. I must mm. see him. If you insist. But you need to speak to my uncle first. You've been in your sick bed for over a fortnight while he paid the apothecary to tend to you. And for medicine. That's a good deal. I've been lying here two weeks. Better a fortnight in bed than an eternity in the grave. That's right. I fast forwarded that just a smidge. That was an accident. I owe you both my life. And I'll repay my debt. You have my word. All right. But before you go to town, you should eat something. You're still weak. 
There's food on the table for you. She's a real sweetie, Kins. Well, now. All right. Hold on now, baby girl. Hold on now. Hold on now. Where you going? Oh, you don't want to talk? You want to talk? What? You don't want to talk? Hold up. Did I do something? Did I do something wrong? Oh, the DLCs and shit. Have you yeah. Yet? No. Yes, it yes, was very it was good. Very... I did. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Okay. Guess that's that. Get your things from the trunk. Right, let's get them from the trunk. Oh, no. I didn't eat. That nigga was lying. Yo, bro, be lying. Boom, boom, boom. Yo, normally you'd want to talk to him. Oh, right, 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 right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to get my lockpicks. I got to talk to this man. Need him to train me. Hi, I'm Henry. My name's Thanks Henry. for taking care of me. Thank you for taking care of me here. My name's Peshek, and I'm the miller here. You've already met my niece, Teresa. She took care of you for two whole It's like her name's Teresa, the but they said Teresa. I'm talking of you being at death's door. While you were lying here, you worked up quite a bill with the blood letter. Who came now and again to keep you alive with his potions? That That's crazy. Come cheap. I paid him what I could, but I still, that is, you still owe him do i though well it's better to be in debt than to lie dead in a ditch facts do I owe? i'm not afraid of hard work you won't pay for that shoveling manure well, i won't I might have a better job for you and it's not something any fool can do you okay prove to me you're a clever lad i might trust you with something you could really make money from. sounds like you want me to steal what some shit <laughs> yeah he wants me to steal some what shit what you need from me a trifle. Just to take something from someone and bring it to someone else. The path of a thief. And not get caught while you're doing it. <gasps> that sounds straightforward enough. The path Except of a thief. Except for not get caught. Why would anyone want to catch me? Oh, don't worry. It's just a job like any other. Only this one requires, uh, let's say, the right moral disposition. Mm -hmm. the corpse bother you. No honorable man should touch them. That's the executioner's job. Did I guess. expect I'd give you a hoe and send you out to the fields? You can dig all right, but somewhere else. I want to know whether you're going to hide behind some stupid fucking scruples, or if you might be useful for more unconventional work. No, I'm useful. I was prepared for just about anything, but that's a bit much. But go on, tell me more. Listen, right. it's about this ring my mate Wojcik, the Kohelnitz Miller, had his eye on. Trouble is, they buried the ring by the gibbet, along with the villain they hung while he was wearing it. Mm. Jesus Christ. You want me to dig up a corpse, take a ring from it, and give it to your friend in Kohelnitz? There's nothing sacred to you. <laughs> first, morals later. That fellow is dead. He won't miss it. Whatever mm. bleeding heart came up with the idea that it's disrespectful to disturb a corpse, never read the Bible. It's still a human body. Only it's missing a soul. Why be disgusted by something created by God? Hmm. Uh, oh, okay. I think He's I've got an interesting view on this. Know. You've got the tongue of the devil himself. Mm -hmm. you tried hard enough, I bet you could justify sodomy with a goat. What the with? fuck? There's a shovel here around the mill somewhere. If there's any problem, come and see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And here's something on the side to make you dig better. Thanks. I'll need it. I can't believe I've come to this. Digging up corpses. Oh, and uh, watch out for the executioner and his hounds. They're pretty savage. And I don't just mean the dogs. You can just throw them some meat. The dogs, that is. But the executioner? Well. Okay, don't vex them. Gotcha. Hold on a second, though. Because I'm going to need some lockpicks. May the Lord watch out. Can you teach me how to lockpick? By unlocking this trunk. All right, let's see here. Hold the lock. Right. 
Man, I know how to do this shit. Shut your mouth. You hold the blade. Use it to turn the whole Got it? Good. Now turn the whole lock with the blade. But don't stop holding the tumbler. Oh shit, hold up. Man, bruh, that's cause your weak ass fucking lesson. An experienced guard will recognize Hold on a second, child. This ain't supposed to be going this way. There we go. Make something out of you yet. Remember, this trunk's only practice. You realize you have to watch out. Okay. Whoa, what was that? I think now I should have some lockpicks on it. He should have gave me some lockpicks. Yep. 13 lockpicks, not bad. Alright, cool. Let's go on this mission. Halt! Who are Halt! You where are you going? To your mom's house. Son of the Scarlet's blacksmith. I'm going to see my liege, Sir Radzik Kabila of Dvoyets. Of course you are, lad. And I'm the Pope. What do you want from his lordship, and what makes you think he'll see you? I may not look the part, tell but I know about, about honor this. and duty. And mine is to tell Sir Radzik what happened to the sword he commissioned. All right, then go ahead. It'll be your skin if Sir Radzik isn't pleased. But I know about honor and duty. Well, out of my way, you heathen. If it ain't Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That be the Smith's son, Hal. That oh, be the Smith's son's Hal. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I came to touch wieners. <laughs> I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the Knights Hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. That's no. the point, asshat. Bandits attacked me and stole it. <sighs> Sometimes people are just fucking stupid. Happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. All right, let's go talk to his lordship. His lordy lords of lords. Oh lord, my walking skills are atrocious right now. Right, Your graces, I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush. But I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Right. Indeed. But Pirkstein is yours for as long as you need it. There's room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to... My ward? I'd be honored. Mr. Capone. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> eh? Uh, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans. And to you, Sir Hans. Sir Hans. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well, there's no love lost between the towns. Why would you start off with saying, I don't want to speak ill of your people, there's but... There's talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. Criminality? But when will it be resolved? And yeah. what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. None of us know. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, Father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the Imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. I love how I'm waiting Who on my father. blame cousin? him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit he brought it upon himself. 
I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land. And that's supposed to be his homie. Lord who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian <laughs> order looks like. What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks mm. to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But mm. why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this very dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. Mm. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with blood. They were cheap labor. That's well, not cheap labor, us. but cheap uh, it was after uh, swords silver. for hire. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared after I clearly ordered him to remain at Townburg. I'm sorry, sir, but... Right? I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others mm. listened to their lord. That's and it Bernard. Wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. You actually got to get along so with Bernard. Robot and He's a really dope person. To save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. You had to. Do you have to, Radzik? <laughs> <laughs> your father was a remarkable man, and your mother, she was remarkable too. They what does that Christian mean? Burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Oh, girl. Girl? What girl? The Miller's daughter. Teresa. <laughs> the Miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's yep. a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, well, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still... It's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't yeah. invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone <laughs> buries you in consecrated ground right. first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's <coughs> time? That is it, May. Excuse me. Why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword <laughs> my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him, and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver lines, and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged, and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. Ah. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valor, and a dead man keeps no promises. That Aye. part woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge what kind of fool are you boy he's no fool henry you have courage oh no he's a fool training arms a horse what do you mean to beat this thief at dice no sir please take sir, do you mean to beat this thief at dice things. the gall of him fled from the enemy disobeyed your i orders, didn't flee from shit pussy boy lost your sword puts a robot in danger with his actions and now he wants a promotion so Capon's right. Can I kick him in the head? What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well. Believe me. Right. Talk that Henry shit. Some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier. Yeah, they are. This man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. It is. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. Your mom's a peasant. A squire of a peasant? Why not? She likes it from Someone the back with dogs. Of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. Hmm. He isn't a so, peasant. He's a blacksmith. So, I... 
Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> I probably will. Yep, you are. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Well, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. That's true. Bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. Yeah, it might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. That it yeah, will. But let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> ah, ha, ha, ha. God forbid <laughs> someone else had to pay me. See to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And see to his training, him. and send him to the bailiff. On, don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't disappoint you, sir. My lord. My lordy lord. I feel quite hungry. I'm going to skip through some of this conversation, man. Just, yeah, base I'm training. Here. Let's go. My father was... Good luck to you. Very well, then. Let's see what you're made of, lad. Come at me and don't hold back. Okay. Good strike. Oof. I'm about to get my ass whooped. His counter game is crazy. Loss. No, I'm not. To turn you into a master, but you have the basics. Let's try okay. something more advanced. When in combat, keep an eye on the space between you and your opponent. That is your space. Try to attack from the side the opponent will find harder to block in time. If I'm holding the sword raised up, do an uppercut. My sword is low, lunge. Let's try it. You strike a few times at the side where I'm not holding my sword. There we go. <sighs> nice. Not bad. Wrong. Nice. Good. All right. No, not like that. <laughs> right. Lesson two. Everything you've learned about blocking is wrong. When I cover, I can simply fend off your blows with my sword and gain control of the space between us. Okay, you. Not to control just the space, but actually your opponent's weapon. Attack, and I'll show you. <laughs> All right, that will do. Now you. The trick is to stay in your stance. As soon as I start to attack, you block. The move knocks the blade aside. Ah, that's it. Uh. It goes nice and slow your first go round. Well you get really good at it later. Ow. Not bad. There we go. Ah, that's it. Not bad, Henry. Got to get right. that defense up, B. Try it a little faster. Concentrate and block just at the moment I start attacking. I'll strike you from above each time so you can see it well. Ah, right, that's it. No, not 
like that. You must have the sword there. You have to move along with the attack. Again. <clears throat> Oh, easy. Ah, that's it. I think it goes needless to say okay. I don't have to tell you that I'm waiting for that little green shield to pop in the front. Ah, that's it. Oh, wouldn't let me block good, that. Good, good. Now let's try it at full speed. You probably won't succeed, but that's normal at the start. You must train. Let's go. Oh shit. There we go. Got one on shit. That shit is hard. But as you get your defense up, his blocking skills will just Everything needs to be on draining motherfucker stamina when you block them. Oh, who's he talking to? Not the same as holding a hammer, is it, blacksmith? It's Sir Radzig's orders. I know. I'm actually here to train at the archery range. My hands grown heavy. Steak nuggets, not a bad dude. You don't mind, do you, Bernard? Not at all, my lord. Good day to you, blacksmith's boy. Try not to hurt yourself. I won't. I'm going for the hurt. Where did we finish? Yeah. Lock it, counter the moves. Where you want it. There's one more way to evade a strike. You simply step aside <laughs> and attack, and I'll show you. important not to move too soon. I'll see where you're going and hit you. And the same will happen if you move too late. I'll attack slowly now. As you see me, raise the weapon, jump us up. You'll throw the opponent off a bit, and there's your chance. <sighs> not like that! Uh. Wrong! Good. Nice. No, again. Wrong, damn it. No, again. Fine. Now try it a little quicker. Try a little quicker. He's gonna smack me with this. Never bitch. take your eyes off your opponent. You'll see a strike before it's even properly started. Okay. Well done. Okay. Very good. Oh shit. There we go. Nice. And the last thing for today, a trick. You raise the sword to force your opponent to block, but then change the direction of the attack at the last moment, and the opponent won't even know what hit him. Try it. Draw back the weapon, then change the attack zone and strike, so I don't have time to react. <sighs> Wrong! <sighs> Wrong, damn it! <sighs> Wrong! No, that's not it. No, again. Oh, bitch. All right. Oh, uh ho. -huh. Well done. No, again. Oh, mm, bitch. Well done. Oh. Mm. Good. All right. Oh, I did well, enough. Oh, I right. wasn't too bad. 
Maybe we'll make a soldier of you after all. Don't Maybe. Don't get cocky. You have to train hard and persistently. You might have talent, but talent alone won't do. Practice. Whenever you've got nothing better to hmm. do and you're in the okay. mood for it, you can come and train here with me. I can teach you something more when you're up to it. Hell yeah. Teach me more shit. Don't leave yet. I know we gotta go do archery. Come with me. Yo, that is the hardest thing in my mind to do in combat. Like, if they're right in front of you, it's easy, but do it at that distance and range, that takes some skill right there. Because this little reticule right here isn't there. Oh, I don't need to wait on this dude. All right. And we are here. Let's see what this dickhead wants to do. Hmm. Let's see then. Take this bow, go and stand in position over there, and we'll mm -hmm. start. And another thing, put on this arm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now concentrate. A bow ain't exactly the weapon of choice of a knight, but it can come in very handy. You've got two bandits coming at you from a distance. You shoot one in the eye, drop your bow, and draw your sword on the other. Emperor Charles, God Does rest him, encouraged his subjects to learn archery. He even organized contests in Prague. You would have gotten far there. You're holding the thing like a piece of firewood. So Run you say. Walk. There's the target. Try and hit it. I think I'm killing it. And release. Try to get a feel for the rhythm. Inhale on the draw. Hold your breath for a moment. And then release the string. No oh, turkey kill it. Just let the string slide out of your fingers. As if you were about to draw it back more. It's all one movement. The arrow aiming at the target and flying at it. Shoot away. What you have there is a training bow. The arrow drops quickly. Once you've trained a bit, you can get yourself a better one, and then those arrows will fly so fast you won't see them. Don't mm. forget the arm guard. Once you've mastered the bow a bit, you won't need it anymore. Gotcha. Mm. I think I'm doing just fine. <clears throat> Go ahead, tell me how you know I'm out here killing it. I don't like to say it, but it wasn't that bad. I don't know why you're wasting your time, Sir Bernard. Nothing will come of him anyway, and at the first sign of trouble, he'll run away like any other cowardly peasant. After all, he's done it before. What did Yo. you say? Yo, my bed is wild. Calm down, boy. Keep in mind who you're talking to. A brother who was born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Now you've really done it. You'll go to the stocks for that. Calm yourself, Sir Bernard. If the blacksmith boy feels he can prove himself, then let him try. Do you think you can beat me? <coughs> yes. Let's do it. Very well. If you defeat me, I'll give you my bow. If you lose, you'll have to pay up. Do you even have any coin? I got a little song, song. Enough. Good. Then let's get to it. All right. Let's not lose. Let's not lose. Let us not lose now. A little high, a little low. There we go. Come on, a little, little, little to the right. There we go. Woo -hoo! Boy, young Capone, you about to get killed. You about to get killed, homeboy. Hold on, let me let my stamina rebuild. Oh, just nailed it. Man, get out of here, Capone. You trash, bro. I mean, he still hit his target, but. Well, I didn't expect that. Probably just wasn't your day, sir. I told you I have a heavy hand ever since I fell off that horse during the last hunt. Mm. What are you grinning about, boy? I think you owe me a little payback. How about a sword fight at the arena? If you like. A sword fight? Sir Hunt, Manju Wala. Is this necessary? Sir Hanish has already had words about you fighting with your subject. I Man, fuck that. what he told you. You can just tell him I didn't listen to you. So what's it going to be, blacksmith? If we must. 
Let's do Excellent. it. Excellent. Then let's go. All right, let's see what you got, Chief. <coughs> oh, fool. Come on, bruh. Pull your shit out. Fucking. Move. Come on, let's go. Okay. There we go. Catch all these hands, boy. You got the better of me this time, blacksmith. Must be having an off day. Are you all right, sir? Don't worry your mangy head about me, peasant. We'll see each other again soon enough. You can keep my bow. It's best years are behind it anyway. Nice, got me a bow. Let's equip that thing real quick. Got a nice 120 better long distance arrows. Nice. Nice. Hmm. You better hope his lordship hasn't taken it badly. He hasn't. He shouldn't have challenged me. I don't think he'll take it too bad. You might be under Sir Adzik's protection. To be wise to stay on good terms with the other noblemen too. Oh. Now go to Excuse the roundhouse. The bailiff's waiting for you there. Well, all right. all right. Well, here, let's go ahead and kill this one here, man. This is a pretty lengthy episode, man. But the next one, we'll go ahead and we'll pick up where uh, we pick up with the bailiff, and we'll go on that mission. And uh, I think we'll be seeing Mr. Capone again. But for those that uh, came through and watched, man, appreciate that, man. Make sure you smash that like button, hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. Or I'll punch you in the jejunum. Or maybe I'll just sweep the leg because it's Cobra Kai style. But anyway, as always, man, peace.